Today we're going to be doing a half up, half down hairstyle. So I've set the hair, it's very prim and proper. Right now I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of tossle it with my fingers and mess it up. I'm going to go through kind of section by section and just run my hands through her hair. You don't have to worry that the curls are going to fall by doing this because we've, we've made sure and preset them. Now we set her hair using Velcro rollers on the top. So you'll notice she has a little bit of natural volume happening because of that. And the curls are really smooth, kind of almost to this ear length which is important. I'm actually gonna set in a little bit of teasing with her hair just to get a little bit more volume here. So I just wanna start with fine little sections. Pre-brush the section and just light little strokes, smoothing the hair along. One thing that I would be careful with with a lot of the half up, half down sets is getting it too big or too rounded. Now I already know with her we wanna leave the fringe out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take those and separate them now. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each thumb, starting at the temple, moving all the way back, and that begins our section. I'm gonna do that one side and then the other, and I'm actually going to cross the sections in the back. So you just wanna make sure that everything is nice and smooth as you're going along. And I give it almost a little half twist here on the side. And then you're just gonna pin this in place. So now we're going to take our second section of hair, which is the one right under that. And I'm actually gonna leave the hair that's closest to the face out. So I'm taking almost an inch section above the ear, and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cross it, giving it in a couple of twists as I go along toward the back. So I've twisted the hair almost to the other side. Take your bobby pin, stick it in the hair, Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. And I'm actually gonna go right underneath the section that I just created. I'm gonna take the bobby pin, closed, wiggle it back and forth to get it in there. And you see, no matter where we end the curl, you can't really tell, because the curls just flow down. So now we'll take the section right below that section. And this is where you can get really creative. You can decide where you want your twist to go. So smoothing the hair, lightly twist it back. So you take your pin, grab a piece of hair on the twist, wiggle it back and forth to set it into place. So now that we've secured the back, we wanna take another look at the front and see what pieces from the front we wanna pull back. So I'm gonna twist this hair also lightly, and I already have a bobby pin, so I'm just going to stick my bobby pin in, because it's a tiny little piece of hair, and I'm going to drag it along the back. I'm taking this opportunity because it's such a small piece of hair to kind of cover some of my pins that might be exposed. So I'm actually going to pin it in right there, right behind that other pin. And I actually felt it lock into place with another pin so I don't need to crisscross. I'm actually gonna do a little trick that I like to do to hold these in place. I'm gonna use my rat tail comb again. And I'm actually gonna back comb kind of the center section of it but I'm gonna move the hair as I do that. So what I'm doing is I'm teasing it into place. If you wanted a really smoothly look, you would pull everything back, but you'd still get the impression of a fringe. That's what we'll do today. So I'll take a bobby pin, slide that pin into place. At this point now, I would kind of hairspray the bang. Still using movable hold hairspray, I would actually kind of slip my finger underneath it. Missed a little spray. And so this is your half up, half down style.